What's at stake in this race? I think, you know, what's at stake in uh, this race is whether or not there'll be a, a last line of defense from within this state against the policies that are uh, coming from the, the White House. Who we elect as Attorney General, not only in the state of Illinois, but throughout the country, matters more than it in any time in American history. If elected Attorney General, Kwame Raoul says he'll fight back against President Trump's policies on immigration and GOP attacks against Roe versus Wade, something he says his socially conservative opponent, Erica Harold, will not do. The notion that women could have the autonomy to make decisions about their own bodies, um, these are issues that are under attack. And we have in my opponent uh, an individual who says she will do nothing about protecting those rights. Uh, I, on the other hand, will step up and fight. Harold charges Raul's under the thumb of party boss and House Speaker Mike Vanigan. But Raul puts a positive spin on their relationship. And to the extent that, um, you know, I'm being accused of being affiliated with that party, which you know, Mike Vanigan is the chair of the party, yeah, have I worked on policy with Mike Madigan? Certainly, uh, Mike Madigan helped me abolish the death penalty in the state of Illinois. And Raul rejects Harold's claim that she'll keep an eye on Democrats in Springfield. It's inconsistent with what she said on the other hand that her job is simply to enforce the law. Indicating that you're going to be a check on a certain party, that implies that you're gonna be doing more than just enforcing the law, you're gonna be engaging in a policy differences based on partisanship. Uh, that, again, is not the job of the Attorney General's office. Now, Derek, Senator Raul is sitting on a lead, although it's a slight lead, isn't it? Well, we're, we're told this race is within the margin of error. That's what we've been told by both sides. And, you know, this, you might ask, what will it take for him to lose? The better question might be, what would it take for him to lose? After all, he is the Democratic nominee. This is a very blue state, and it's expected to be a good year for Democrats. He's also outspending Erica Harold almost four to one. So Raul isn't a shoe in but he's got every advantage.